Hey guys, this is Gibson from ElizabethGibson.com, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to use the Thrive Smart widget to sort of customize your sidebar um, based on people's the experience you want people to have if they're looking at one type of content, you want to show them more of that kind of content. Um, so I'm just in the back end of one of my websites, and to go and use them, you go to Appearance and Widgets. So widgets are what you use um, to build your sidebar. And hopefully this works because I haven't been on the site in a long time. Yeah, so there's a lots of widgets and the Thrive Custom Text is the one I like to use and refer to. It's kind of a smart widget. So when I go and I look at these, because I've got different Thrive Custom Texts, I can edit them. Um, and I've chosen to display certain things on there, but I can use the Thrive widget display option. So if I only wanted this to show in certain instances, I could do that. And so this is what it's kind of referred to as the smart widget is because you can choose what po post pages categories, you know, um, you want to show on. And if there's, if you're like show on all posts, except these ones, you could do that too. Um, so it's just really easy to kind of pick and choose where stuff displays. So if I go back to my custom, so I do custom text and then I just kind of copy text in there and I choose when it displays. Let's see if this is one. Yeah. So this is showing like, product and other um, like posts. So I have it set to display on certain categories, I do believe. Yeah, so I have it set to show on four different categories. And I've redone categories a little bit, which is why they're not showing as much. Oh, here's categories. So budgeting, build savings, get motivated, and personal finance basics is when this shows. So if I go to this blog post, um, I'm going to see this sidebar, which is more stuff about budgeting. So if I go to a different blog post, like a debt blog post, I have different things showing here because I'm showing more debt related content because it makes no sense for me to show that like budgeting content because they're not there yet necessarily. So the point is to kind of show more content that will continue to help them.